Hello, welcome to Current News. I'm your host, Chris Davis, and today we're going to do a review of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, spoiler warning, if you haven't played the game, please click off this video if you don't want to hear spoilers. If you don't care for spoilers, please continue to keep watching. Okay, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, what do I think of this game? I liked this game. I really liked the gameplay. Um, the sword mechanics... Um, were very interesting uh, because you couldn't really just hack and slash your way through um, like you could do in the Force Awakens games. Um, this game required more skill in order to play. So there's like four modes. Um, I think one is Pad Padawan, Jedi Knight. I forgot the other two, but I know the other one has to be like Grandmaster or Jedi Master, um, one of those names. Um, <clears throat> but I just played on Jedi Knight. If I heard if you just play on Padawan, you just stream through the game. It has to be somewhat challenging. So, but if you put on Jedi Jedi Knight mode, it's very challenging. And what I mean by the sword play is, like I said, you can't hack just hack and slash like Galen Merrick did in the Force Unleashed. Uh, your Jedi Padawan who's escaping um, Order 66 or who has escaped Order 66 and who's still on the run from Order 66 which right, wiped out the nearly the entire Jedi Order and when you're battling um, stormtroopers especially the ones that are using melee weapons um if you really want to defeat them really easily, you're going to have to read their strikes so you can parry at the right moment uh, so you can easily take them down. Uh, because if all you do is slash, slash, they're going to parry you. And that's why, what I mean, this game requires a lot more skill in order to play. You're going to have to read your opponent's sword strike so you can parry at the right moment so you can take away their posture bar or their defense bar and so you can start attacking them. This game reminds me of Sek Sekiro. Sekiro? <laughs> I may be saying it wrong. Um, but I think the people of Dark Souls had a hand in making this game. So that's why it feels so similar to Sekiro. Um, I haven't played like Sekiro but I've watched some playthroughs through um, YouTube and that's what it really reminds me of. Um, what else is really cool about this game is like the abilities you can unlock. Uh, what I recommend um, for abilities for you to unlock is force abilities. Um, those will help you out tremendously because you can slow people down. You can push people off. Um, like a force push where you can push a whole group of people I recommend you get that one it may be a while before you can but that one is really useful especially when you're fighting a group of enemies at once um, just to spread them out and stagger them or completely push them off the edge um, also I really like the story of this gameplay of this game <clears throat> so you're a survivor of order 66 you're just working some scrapyard. Um, you have to use your force abilities to save your friend. But then that sets off the alarm with the Empire. And then the second sister, who is going to be your main antagonist um, throughout this entire game. Um, she's hunting you. And um, to escape the scrapyard, um, Sierra, um, a former Jedi... Um, Knight or Master, um, she saves you from the second sister and she recruits you to go on a mission to unlock the temple, the Jedi Temple on Zepho to find a list of four sensitive children to rebuild the Jedi Order. So that's the whole game. You're going from like different planets from Dathomir to Kashyyyk to Ilium. Um, to Zeppo and Bo Bogano, you're going to these planets so you can get, you can find the Astrium to unlock the temple 
to find the force sensitive children to rebuild the Jedi Order. <clears throat> now, big spoiler, big spoiler, okay? Um, at the end of the game, you destroy um, the list because they think that if we bring get these force force sensitive children, then that just makes them an easier target for the Jedi. So at the end of the game, they say, "Hey, um, what do we do next?" So I like the overall plot. I like the story progression. Um, I like the planet of Dathomir. It's really um, tough planet um, to get through. They were all tough, but it has to be either between Zepho or Dathomir. Um, probably Dathomir because of the Dark Jedi that you had to face. Um, Malakos. Yeah, he was really hard. Um, but when you defeat Malakos, um, this Night Sister Marin um, joins your team, but it's really towards the end of the game. She's not. She isn't on your team for too long. It is really near the end. And that's probably one of my complaints is that Marin joins your team really late in the game. And I wish maybe she could join a lot earlier. So you could develop her um, backstory and her character a lot more. Other things I liked, um, I liked the world exploration. The game felt kind of like a sandbox, but you could still go out and explore different areas. And there's some incentive to explore, like your droid um, BD-1. Um, if you explore throughout the planets, you can get more stem containers that can refill your health. Those are always um, a good idea, but what they could do better um, with the exploration is even though I like the stem containers, I like being able to recharge my health bar with more stem containers. I was finding a lot of ponchos and different sleeves for my lightsaber. That's not a real incentive to go um, looking around in the game. Um, you have to provide like more incentive for like people to explore the game. I know you have the sense echo where you can get the backstory on the planet and different characters by exploring, but if you have people exploring through the game and what they just unlock is just different clothes and different sleeves for the lightsaber and it doesn't really do anything it's not really um doesn't really incentivize you to go exploring the only really only reason why i really even explored was to get more stem containers and sometimes to um increase my force gauge or my um health bar um because sometimes if you explore and you unlock some puzzles or go into a secret area there's like some kind of force thing that can increase your hp or increase like your force bar <clears throat> um, but i think what would be better to make people more interested in exploring and this kind of game is if it's going to be different clothes, okay, let it be different clothes that increase attack power or give you more health or increase your defense so you take less damage. Um, if instead of just giving people different sleeves for lightsabers, um, what about um, different lightsabers in general? Uh, maybe a curve handle like Count Dooku has or the cross guard lightsaber like Kylo Ren has. Um, the only um, the only different lightsaber you get um, by exploring is on Dathomir and you get the double light double bladed lightsaber um, by exploring in that area. So kind of build off on that idea. So you get the double bladed lightsaber in Dathomir. Okay, so maybe in the future game, 
um, when people explore um, they can unlock different lightsaber functions or they can get different lightsabers and maybe they can all do some kind of um, different ability um, the force um, when you unlock your skills um, there was um, it was good I thought there could have been more I understand that this person's a Padawan and they didn't complete their Jedi training so um, the skills you unlock aren't going to be as great as let's say a Jedi Knight or a Jedi Grand Master but I wish there was just more skills and abilities like you can lock it just felt more just bare minimum it's just with the abilities you had with the force it was just force push and then a different variant was that it was an even bigger force push um, force pull um, force stop and maybe an even longer stop um, just different small variations of force abilities and I wish there were more, but this was the first game. But those are just some thoughts for improvements on the next game. Um, another thing that I noticed that made this game similar to Sekiro was you have a, a posture bar. If that runs out, then you're you freeze for a bit. But what can help is you getting out of defense and then it refuels. Um, but yeah, when you're playing this game, if you have it on Jedi Knight or above, you're going to have to really focus on parrying and doing a lot of force evading. And when I say evading, it's not just simple, just get out of the way. The force evade that I'm talking about is when... Someone's about to strike you, and right when they strike you, um, this is the PlayStation 4, you press circle, you dodge, and it's like a really smooth move, and then you can either do a kick or you can do another strike, but that's kind of like the evasion I'm talking about. But you really have to focus on your sword um, swings, and you have to really focus on parrying, um, the person you're fighting the toughest like components like you're gonna have to face is like the second sister and Malikos you pretty much steamroll the ninth sister because she's pretty slow and you can take her down like you pretty much steamroll her it's the second sister and Malikos um that are the de most difficult to defeat in fact um you need Marin's help in order to defeat Malikos um but other enemies you fight, stormtroopers, purge troopers, and the purge troopers can carry heavy weapons, kind of um, spinning staffs, and swords and other sharp um, knives. Um, you really have to focus on blocking and parrying them. Um, they can be really tough to face too. Um, but you really have to focus on your um, attacking and blocking and parrying um, so you can get that opening to strike your opponent. So I really liked that system. It really made it more challenging and more interesting. I really had to focus on reading my opponent if I really wanted to get that opening in. Um, characters that we, uh, that we saw, um, we saw like Wookiees, we saw like of course Marin, a night sister that survived the massacre of the of the night sisters. Uh, um Marin is a night sister. Her her people her the night sisters were uh, massacred in the Clone Wars um by by General Grievous and Count Dooku. Um but she survived that and she thought that the Jedi did it but um, it wasn't the Jedi, it was Count Dooku and General Grievous. Um, you saw Guerrera is in this game, and um, he's a very interesting character. He was in Rogue One, so 
Um, maybe in the sequels, um, we'll get to see Han Solo, uh, Princess Leia, Lando. Um, I it would be really cool if we saw some Star Wars Rebels characters in there. Um, maybe Ezra Bridger and Kanan Jarrus. Um, <clears throat> Sabine Wren, Hera, um, Zeb. <clears throat> so that would be really cool if you could see them. Um, probably not. Um, we'll probably maybe get to see um, Han Solo. Uh, I doubt they would show the Rebel crew, but that would be really cool if they did. Um, overall, I really like this game. Um, I really like the combat. I really like the abilities you can lock. Main thing they need to work on is incentivize people to explore. Make them more interested in exploring. Like be, let them be able to unlock um, different kinds of lightsabers. Um, like on Dathomir, you got the double bladed lightsaber. Well, let someone. Well, in the next game let players be able to unlock Kylo Ren's lightsaber or get a curve handle um, like Count Dooku's. Another thing that I had trouble with with this game was whenever I was trying to go back to the ship or go to a specific location, it was hard for me to um, find the ship or the location because um, you can mark... Um, the ship or wherever you're going to but there's no compass or no um, meter or something tells you or something that tells you how far you are from your objective there's nothing like that in the game that tells you okay are you a hundred meters away are you 500 meters away um, that's missing in the game and that really hurt me a lot, especially when I was in Zepho. I was like, I was trying to get out of the Zepho temple and I was, I had the ship as my objective to go to, but when you're on the map, it doesn't tell you how far you are from the ship. I mean, you can see, but it doesn't tell you if you're 100 meters away, 200 meters away, 300 meters away. Usually games that have exploration and you're going to a specific location, they'll have something that shows how far you are away from your objective. And that would have been really nice to have in this game. Okay, so that's all we have for today. Have you played Star Wars um, Jedi Fallen Order? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Share this video with all your friends and all of you. Have a great day.